Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to discuss some of the security issue when you develop a Laravel application and when you are uh, developing any API. So, so far we have done some of the basic stuff uh, with Laravel and Vue like CRUD operation using AJAX request and these are just the basic stuff plus some of the uh, server validation. But things do not end here. Of course, there are many things we can add. We will add them in the future. For now, it is fine. Uh, we will leave it there. But the thing is like I will gradually like uh, bring more feature to this and that's why for the user it is enough. The, we just uh, have to discuss important thing first then we will come back for any other small issues. So let's see how we can make our uh, API more secure. If we are going to develop any API so basically we don't want all uh, any user who, who is not authenticated. Uh, should not be able to send requests to our application. For example, if I go to API slash user, now I have access to the all user information, even if I am not authenticated. So let me show you how. In real life, you are not going to test your API like this. What you are going to do is, you are going to use a tool called Postman. It has a Chrome extension, I think that is deprecated. You can download the app from their website. So what the Postman basically does, if you are developing any application and you need to develop any API like anyone outside your application should be able to use your API, you can use Postman to, to design and to create your API. So from Postman, you can give a URL and then you can uh, send different type of requests, post, put, patch, um, different type of requests that most of them are new to, to me and to you all. So there are uh, the basic things we are going to do. So let's start how we are going to do this. Plus, the, you can even there is some auth authentication. You can use the authorization. You can use the OAuth two and some other basic authentication, and you can even give it parameters and send it for them. So this is very nice tool, and every developer I think will use this one for designing their API. So let's see how we are going to use this one. What I'm going to do is I'm do going to copy the URL from here and going to the Postman just paste it here and send your get request it is successful and uh, now i have all my information here you are in the pretty tab it will show in a very nice way but you can go to the raw it will show the raw data here as well as we saw in the browser but for the preview it will be like the same so we will go to pretty so that it will cast it to like an array and it will display it here an ar ar array and objects so this is our data. We are not uh, authorized to access this data, but we are authorized now. We can access it. So we should make it secure. How you are going to make your application secure? Like people should not be able to use this one. We are developing a basic application for now. Uh, as you, some, some, of, some people just develop any application so that other people outside their application can use some of their information. That is how we, uh, people uh, uh, put APIs like uh, even if you are uh, using Facebook or you are using Twitter you can have access to their API and you can extract some of the information they have in their website that is how they design the API for our purpose we are going to do the same thing but we are not going to let any other user use our application for now everyone has access to the data we have in our database so let's make it secure basically you might think okay let me show you just the I mean the way which is not going to work. If you think it is going to work, it is not going to work like that. If you open the home controller, you know in the home controller by default we have a constructor and constructor is going to call a middleware called auth. It means nobody is going to access the home directory unless they are logged in. So let's see how it is going to work. First of all, let's check our route web. For web, we have a slash and anyone who go to the, the home directory, it will show the welcome view for us. And for the home, it will just go to the home controller and index. So let me show you how it is going to work. I will come here and I said, if you are not authorized, you cannot have access to the home. Let's see how it is going to work. I will just log out and go to the home here. If I press enter, it sent me to the login page because they will not let me like uh, view the home because in the constructor they say any uh, any function in this uh, controller 
is protected by auth means uh, user should be authenticated to access it so if I uh, just comment this code here and refresh the page okay not the login the home and this time I should be able to access the home yeah I have access to the home but it is going to give me an error because of the auth variable we have used here to display the username here if we didn't have this one we would not uh, get any error and it would display the home page for us this is how you can secure your uh, URL and so if you use this one in your API so I'll copy this one come to the user and all the way up there I know it is not going to work because this is not how you secure your application so if you think so anyone who want to send any request to the index function of our user now it is protected if I save it let's see how it is going to work I come here and then again I send a request oops yes it is working but if I go to preview it says that you should be logging the thing is now even if you are logging to your application it is not going to work so let me show you we go to the home oops uh, I should come here and save it for now for now we need to log in so I will log in and to show you that it is it did not work I will go to the manage user where is our user even if you are logging you don't have access to them if I open the inspect element yeah we got an error here so if I show you the error the error say that yeah we send an HTTP request to the server but we got an error of 401 unauthorized you are not authorized why we are logging but we are not authorized it means this is not going to the if you write this middleware auth it is not going to work for API like this so if you open the kernel you might have seen the for the API we have API and there are some other name here so if I copy this one API I, later I will discuss about all of these parameters what are those means for now if I instead of the auth I will say API save it let's see if it work but it is not going to work again yeah it worked for us it is going to work here let's see if it is working in the postman too so this time if we send a request yeah I still we have access to this one oh so it means that is the problem in the postman we are not authenticated but we have access here you are authenticated and you have access even if you are not authenticated you have access so basically this is not how it is going to work so what is the solution the solution is to use Laravel passport or oh, Laravel passport is like because we use Laravel it comes with Laravel but there is another concept people say like um, JWK if you heard about this one JWT not K it is JavaScript web token when you are sending any HTTP request what you can do is you can send a token that is called JavaScript web token and then with that token you can have access to your API so Laravel passport will let you do that one if I go to the Laravel documentation and say Laravel passport this is uh, a little bit like for advanced user who are going to as I said if you are developing a very large application and you want a different type of user to have access to your application and you make an API authentication so people must create a key and then they should have access to your application for that it is the Laravel passport is going to work for that as well for us what we are going to do is like we use it for JavaScript uh, purposes so here is the the one we want here is the consuming yeah consuming your API with JavaScript this is what we are going to use so I'm not going to discuss this in this uh, video and the later video I will show you how you can add it in your application and use it so I hope it has been informative for you this video that is basically how the API is going to work and in the next video I will show you how you can use Laravel passport and how you can secure your application I know there are some tutorials about Laravel passport but they I think they do not show you how you can use it uh, with your API they will show you if you can create a token API and then you can use it outside your application 
and all sorts of stuff like that but i will show you how you can use it in your own application so i hope it has been informative for you if you have any question feel free to ask below the video and thank you for watching